Take your hand, take your finger, just make a swirl in the palm of your hand. And just keep that in mind as I describe the painting. Because there's a lot of color, and you're going to see how the color um, plays into the swirl and how the end all the colors really become melded together in the swirl together. So they should begin to be heard. It's a long sort of gallery that's quite as long as it is wide. And you can see a curve. The curve starts from the left side of the painting and moves to the right. Once you get to the right, it becomes straight. At the very bottom of the painting, it's like a very light beige, tannish color. It looks a lot like sand. She could have been um, at the beach or taking a vacation when she, when she did this. Yeah, right? So maybe she had that feeling of being on vacation and you're looking out. Yes. Uh, and that is mostly like the motion that these are making. From the bottom, you could feel lightning. Because in the painting, there is... I think because of the black and the whole clock thing going on here, she probably was either upset or angry. And I think she did that clock thingy with Jig um, because she felt that time was supposedly passing her by and mm -hmm. she had like a whole bunch of things to deal with. And I think a good way to describe this painting is if you put your hands together like this, like your palms together, yeah, exactly. And slowly bend your fingers and pull them apart. And you can get the feeling of a flower opening. And I think that's what George O'Keefe is trying to describe in this painting. And as your fingers move out and spread out, the petals become like rigid. Yeah, they open up and they become rigid and um, a brighter color red. It moves to yellow and purple.